Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. Um, I play the Seaboard Rise, and um, I love it. I wondered to myself, could I take a single sample, massage it a little bit, drag it into contact, make a whole instrument that I could perform with? Well, let's take a look at what I did. Well, the first thing was to record a sample, and uh, I grabbed a wine glass and did that thing. There, you can see me doing it. And it turned out that wasn't the worst sound in the world. It's sort of beautiful, modulated sine wave with some grit in it, right? And I found um, at least 30 seconds that I liked and dropped it in DSP Quattro. And DSP Quattro is my two-track editing software. So after denoising, you know, first I EQ'd it, just removed everything below the fundamental, almost below the fundamental, then denoised it and normalized it, um, export that, and I'm ready to fly it into contact. So I've grabbed this one sample, massaged it, cleaned it up a little bit. You saw that happening. And I dragged it and dropped it into contact. I've used the mapping editor. And I determined that it was um, E flat. So I dropped it onto this high E flat and then pulled it down um, so that it covers the rest of the keyboard. So if I play a C chord, I get a C. And uh, you can see the mapping editor down below is showing us how everything works. Now it's a 30 second sample. Um, I may decide I want to loop it, but for the time being, let's think a little bit about the envelope. Now the envelope right now is determined by the sample. And I think what I'm gonna do is change that. So let's go take a look at what the beginning of the sample looks like. Well, you can see it takes a moment for it to get in. So I think I'm gonna just grab the sample start time and move it over to here. And then take a look at the envelope that's controlling my basic amplifier. This is my amplifier module right here. And you can see I've got controls for volume and panning on it. And if I click on mod, I've got a couple of things that are controlling the volume. The volume is controlled by an envelope generator right here, and uh, velocity, depending on how hard I hit the key, it will also change the sound. Let's take a look at the envelope. By clicking here, it'll take me down to the bottom and I can see what the envelope is. Right now, the envelope attack time is very quick. If I make it slower, on the order of maybe a hundred or a couple hundred milliseconds, I begin to get close to sort of what I want. I think I want to change the curve a little bit and even slow it down some. There we go. The release time right now is too short for me. And since this is kind of an organ sound, I think it is nice that it just stays at its basic volume level. Remember, we're gonna be controlling this with um, the seaboard and the volume of the sound will be controlled by the seaboard. So I think it's smart for the time being to just leave the sustain high. So right now, velocity is controlling it in a reasonable amount. Now there's one more thing that I wanna do in this basic patch right now, which is to spread out each key to a different place in the sound field. And that's not hard to do. I'm going to add a modulator. It's gonna be an external source and a very simple one. MIDI CC, no, key position, yeah. The external source key position. And uh, what we wanna do is send it to not volume, but pan. Now, right now, of a far low key, we'll send the sound, oh, it's not even there. We'll send the sound out of the left speaker. And as I move up in the key, the sound will move over to the right. Should we extend this up? Let's see what we get if we extend it up. All right, we have another octave.
I wonder how that's going to sound. Not a giant. That doesn't sound bad. Yeah, we're going to probably add a little filter to that. That's nice. Now, if I play a spread chord... Yeah, the overall sound is much more three-dimensional. All right, I'm liking that. Probably I'm not going to do anything else with the mods on the amplifier right now. But I do want to get in there and uh, change things up a little bit in terms of the filter. I'm going to do some work, and uh, I'll be back. After those simple steps, my next uh, sort of steps were uh, adding uh, elements that would make it more uh, friendly to the seaboard. So I want to do a couple of things. First of all, I want um, the sliding motion to change the filter opening and closing. And so I assign a continuous controller message to, uh, to a filter in contact. You know, the basic dashboard of uh, the Seaboard Rise will tell you what does what. So slide CC is continuous controller number 74. So I just um, went to my filter here and I modulated it with continuous controller 74. Now, you know, the thing about playing the Seaboard Rise is that every time you play a note, it's going to send out a bunch of information on a different MIDI channel. And either it's kind of like a synth, synth that's designed for MPE, or it's not. And contact is right now still not. So this is what I've done in contact. I created my wine glass pad patch and then created a multi. And you can see my first instance is on MIDI channel one, my second third, and fourth are on incremental MIDI channels. And this is the way to get four notes at once and have each note be controlled. Now, I had to create a contact multi-setup over here in my dashboard. And that wasn't terribly hard because it was just a matter of telling it how many MIDI channels to use and uh, the continuous controllers to use and things like that. Well, the net result was this instrument that I have here. And um, I have to say, I'm actually pretty pleased with it. I didn't put any reverb on the original sound of the instrument, but um, I've added a crystalline instance just after the basic one. So watch what happens. My first note here gets incrementally added. Whatever I played last was that. Now, when I play another note, a different instance of contact comes in. And then a third. Now I can control these volumes with pressure and open the filter on individual voices, which is for me just delightful. Now, I haven't really set it to pitch bend, but it's still giving me a little bit, isn't it? Now, bear in mind that was, it's a beautiful sounding instrument, terrifically expressive, and it's just one sample, one 30 second recording of a wine glass. Uh, it all comes, the energy of it, the performance energy, comes out of the continuous controllers that are inherent in the Seaboard Rise and the fact that each voice has its own set of. Um, sort of modulations, uh, amplitude and filter, 
vitalities, which are in relationship to each other, which are constantly changing. They're panned a little bit differently in the stereo field. I don't know if you noticed over here, but um, it, you know, ex instance one is panned a little bit to the right, instance two a little to the left, right, left, right, left, just a little, just to give me a little bit of separation. These long sustained sounds on the Roly are just so much fun. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe and ding the bell. You'll be notified when I do my videos and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.